when gaslighting you, a narcissist may say to you, they know who you are. The narcissist will tell you how selfish, immoral and nasty your character is and how other people have found you out and are even talking about your defectiveness behind your back. This is the narcissist projecting his or her disowned inner parts onto you and making out that these disordered things are coming from you. Because you do have a good character, it's beyond devastating to be accused of things that are not what you do and also frustratingly know that they are actually how the narcissist behaves. on the live stream, but I've pushed past my limits, so my only next option is to break up. And I'm really, really, really trying hard not to do that. So it's rather I'm not using it against you. I want to be with you. But it's worth my life. A narcissist can say, you make me behave like this. This is the classic narcissistic way of not taking responsibility for horrible behavior and blaming you for it. If you believe it, you will try to change your reactions and responses to have a better relationship with the narcissist. However, you will discover that none of this works. The narcissist will still behave terribly, regardless of what you try to amend or do differently. to make you feel like your head is spinning in an argument with them. They refuse to stay on topic and use all sorts of defense comments and nasty projections that are so violating that it's usual for you to lose all emotional stability. Then when you get triggered and angry, the narcissist goes from bait to switch and turns it all back on you. I've only witnessed one birth. It was not as messy or as loud as I expected. It <laughs> That's what I think of in childbirth. Maybe not necessarily that it's loud, but that it's messy. <laughs> what is your take on childbirth? Yeah, what do you think it's going to be like? Not just for you, or me, but if you ever witness a childbirth, what would you see it as? It was about God fucking awful. The comments will come in eventually about the conversation we just had. When they do, you must be emotionally prepared to do the right thing because if you don't, I'll be forced to, to take down the live stream. I'm, I'm not going to remove it from the internet because it hasn't gotten bad. It was just reproofing. Yeah. But it will get bad because inappropriate people will get involved. Okay. So I will have to once again put my job down for the sake of your comfort. so much of this that I can maintain for the sake of my own mental health, which I am officially putting first, even before your comforts. Yeah. I have feelings too. A narcissist may say, you are damaged from your past. If you ask the narcissist for clarification, he or she is likely to tell you that you have trust issues as a result of the problems that you've experienced in your past. And of course, the narcissist purports that this has got nothing to do with his or her behavior now. You can't do it. Did I say it's impossible? No. What did I say? You said at this current time, we don't have the resources. 
Yeah, what did I say? I might have said it was impossible first. I was checking my own words. I wasn't testing. I was checking my own words. I may have said it was impossible. It's not, it's not impossible if I said that. It's just darn near impossible. If it really matters to you, then that's something that, you know, you might want to consider sharing with the world, not just with yourself. Does that make sense? Yeah. Not just me and you. It's pretty selfish. Um, I think it's a cool pursuit. It's a great idea. Um, just what I'm making an effort to do is help guide you beyond the, uh, the vices that, you know, I've seen from those in your past and what you want to pursue. And it's not just another little hobby. I mean, you're talking about making a hobby out of something that's almost impossible. I don't want to, like, manufacture it. I just want to have it for myself and me. Yeah, well, this is, this is my point, though. It's when, and this is something you're going to learn in time, is as you as you begin to choose what to tackle in your life, you're going to have to pick and choose what are, what's important to you because if you just if you pick up something so big and it's just for me and you, uh, you know, I know this might sound pessimistic, but it's not going to happen. I think because I don't want to be here. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna respect myself. I'm gonna say I don't like you right now. I'm shutting down the broadcast. It's not worth it. I'll make I'll make my money later. I'm not gonna succumb to this BS. I'm gonna relax. I'm gonna watch some television. I'm gonna eat some free food. And when I'm feeling better, I'll be back. And when you're ready to respect my time, and you guys are ready to make sure that these people don't get in my head, because I can't control it. Obviously, there's only so much I can handle as a human being. And I'm not gonna subject myself to this. Just to end my own life. Alright? Some people are literally that insane. And they just haven't been found out yet. And the pills haven't been forced down their throat. That's not my fault. And it's not my responsibility to sit here and deal with their crap. But you know what? I'm going to. Because I'm getting paid. I'm just going to stand up. I'm going to take a breath in my free hotel room. You heard that, right? I'm going to stand up. I'm going to take a breath in my free hotel room. That I have for a whole month. I'm going to give a kiss to. And maybe even make a little love to. The beautiful woman. Who is cooking all the food. Who is cleaning the house. And servicing me. At my beck and call. Because she's me. And I've given up everything for her. And we still don't know if we're sticking together. And I get it all. Why? Because I'm humble. Not because I'm a jerk. That's all, folks. Thank <laughs> you.